Welcome to our lecture online and continuing with the amazing world of nuclear physics now we're going to look at the density of a nucleus so starting out with a single proton it has a radius of 1.2 times 10 to the minus 15 meters and knowing that the mass of a proton is 1.67 times 10 to the minus 27 kilograms what is the density then of a single proton which of course then would be the density of the nucleus of any atom because we saw that the volume of a nucleus nucleus was proportional to the volume of a um, of a proton and uh, and the number of nucleons in the nucleus so the density can be defined as the mass divided by the volume so knowing the mass of a single proton being 1.67 times 10 to the minus 27 kilograms and knowing that the volume uh, would be four-thirds pi times the radius uh, cubed and the radius being 1.2 times 10 to the minus 15 meters we can say this is equal to 1.67 times 10 to the minus 27 kilograms divided by 4 thirds pi times 1.2 times 10 to the minus 15 meters cubed all right let's see what that is equal to uh, so starting out with 1.2 e to the 15 minus raise that to the third power multiplying that times pi multiply times 4, divide by 3, that's the volume, I might as well write that down, so this is equal to 1.67 times 10 to the minus 27 kilograms, divided by the volume of 7.238 times 10 to the minus 45 cubic meters, okay, take the inverse of that, multiply it times 1.67 e to the 27 minus equals that gives us a density of 2.31 times 10 to the 17 kilograms per cubic meter. Now, 10 to the 17, that's a huge number. 10 to the 12th is, tr is a trillion, while 10 to the 15 is thousand of trillion, so that would be like 231,000 trillion kilograms per cubic meter. That's an enormous amount of mass. So nuclear material is extremely dense, extremely massive compared to its volume. To give you an illustration of that, let's say here that this was a golf ball. Now, <clears throat> I don't play golf, so I don't have any golf balls in my house, but this is a pretty good simulation of a golf ball. And I had somebody, one of my children, look it up, how, uh, what the diameter of a golf ball is. So let's say we have a golf ball, and they told me that the diameter has to be a minimum of, and let's say I wrote it down somewhere, uh, 42.6 millimeters, 42.6 millimeters. Now let's assume that that golf ball was completely filled with nuclear material. All the nuclei of atoms squeezed together, no space left between them, no room for electrons, everything squeezed together to a little nuclear ball. What would be the mass of this, of this golf ball? Well, for that, we use this equation where we say that the mass is equal to the density times the volume and of course the density is right here that would be 2.31 times 10 to the 17 kilograms per cubic meter and I'm kind of going down here because I didn't leave myself a lot of room I have to multiply times the volume of this golf ball so the volume would be um, 4 thirds pi times the radius cubed now, if the diameter is 42.6 millimeters, then the radius would be half of that, which is 21.3 millimeters. And converting that to meters, uh, this is about 2.13 centimeters, so the radius is equal to 0 0.0213 meters. I can take this, plug it in here, so that would be 0 0.0213 meters, and I have to cube that. All right, let's see what we get. So... The density times 4 divided by 3 times pi and times 0 0.0213 raised to the third power equals and the mass would be equal to 9.34 times 10 to the 12th kilograms that would be 9 trillion kilograms or about 9 billion tons imagine that if this golf ball and i'm just assuming that's the golf ball was made out of nuclear material its mass would be nine billion tons 
Wow, if I were to drop that here, it would go right to the floor and quite a bit into the earth. Uh, I would not be able to lift it, uh, not by a long shot. Uh, it would be amazing. Just think, 9 billion tons, a little ball like that. Wow, what would it be like if the earth was like a nuclear ball? What if we squeeze the earth down where there's no space between the atoms and all the nuclei of the earth were pushed together? What would be the volume of the earth then? Well, that would be a good topic for our next video. So, video number five, let's calculate the volume of the earth if the earth was pushed down into a nuclear ball.